sharing with Battle of the Books highlights. Um, Jorge, you get to find out if Miss Greg is really smarter than a fifth grader. This is Logan reporting on the causes of the Revolutionary War. I'm Olivier, standing by live at our school carnival. This is Anya at the area track meet. Get ready to cheer on your track stars. Go Blackhawks! All this and more. The Skyhawk News season finale starts now. Today's Skyhawk News season finale. We've got a lot of exciting stories planned for this special program this morning. But let's begin with school news. Mrs. Coffey was honored with an excellence award last week for her dedication and commitment to Sacagawea. Make sure to congratulate Mrs. Coffey when you see her for this well-deserved recognition. There are many events taking place over the last weeks of school. Our safety patrol team will be going on a trip to Oaks Park on Monday. Sounds fun! On Tuesday will be our all-school spelling bee and our self-manager assembly will be on Wednesday. Don't miss out on Barnes & Noble Book Night, which will take place at Barnes & Noble on Thursday. Let's now head to Livier with our first story at the school carnival. Hi, this is Livier reporting live from our school carnival. Kids have been playing games, eating, and having tons of fun with friends and family. Some of the games that are here are bingo, the clown toss, soccer, and judo. Also, the money that the people at the snack shack received goes to the fifth graders. best about the carnival? I just like coming back to my old school and saying hi to the teachers and having fun with games and everything. in the fifth grade area. Thanks, Colby. Recently, fifth graders learned the causes of the Revolutionary War. We joined a side and had a class debate. We even turned their debate into a movie. I played Saul, a patriot blacksmith. Let's check some exclusive clips.
Thomas Hutchinson is the Royal Governor of Massachusetts. Thomas Hutchinson is a very serious man. Here is Thomas Hutchinson. And in order to protect you, we need to make money. In order to make money, we need to tax. We have also been spending money keeping you safe from the French and Indians attacking. We are trying to help you. Are taxes really worth dying for? Next to speak is one of the leaders of the Patriots. He is a writer, printer, inventor, and a scientist named Benjamin Franklin. You expect us to pay high taxes that don't even go to help us? And you find that fair? I am here to introduce you to Jonathan Boucher. He is one fine Anglican priest. He is a very intelligent and full of ambition. Hello to my fellow loyalists. I am Jonathan Boucher. I am here today to tell all patriots why we should control you. I'm Alex and I'm a privateer. If Britain is so wealthy, why do you tax us for money? Because God said to follow your king and if you want to do the right thing and be on God's side, pay your taxes. Mercy of the Sworn was born September 24, 1778. She lives in Boston. She's a poet, a writer, and a playwright. She writes plays and poems supporting independence. Hello, my name is Mary Williams and I am the owner and founder of a fine British tea shop. Why do you want freedom so badly? We want freedom to make our own laws and obey them. We want freedom to pay taxes that go to us patriots. So unless you want your houses blown down into blistering ashes, I, sh I suggest you listen. Now here's Lord Dunmore. You churches have gone far enough. You've dumped 90,000 pounds of our finest tea into the ocean. You tarred and feathered our tax collectors and brutally assaulted our soldiers with rocks and ice. Why should we let you have independence? You'll turn on us the second we give it to you. Hello fellow patriots, now for a true leader, Samuel Adams. He is a full-time politician. He went to Harvard University and he believes that British are terrible and unfair rulers. He is the leader of the Sons of Liberty and he will fight for our freedom until he dies or wins it. Now for our favorite patriot, Samuel Adams. I think it is absurd that the King of England chooses everything for us. He chooses our laws, our taxes, and our government. I think the colonies should have freedom so we can live in peace. As Patrick Henry said, give me liberty or give me death. And I'm willing to fight for our cause. My name is Hector and I'm a British guard. How are we unfair? We give you the best tea available. You give us unfair laws and you, and you made the quartering acts where you made us treat your soldiers like they were the King of England. And you taxed us on your so-called best tea. So the 13 colonies should have independence. <laughs> Check out some highlights from Battle of the Books. In what book do we find Nikki? Sam Beaver. Maniac Mickey. That's not no, that's not right. <laughs> 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 no. A magic coin appeared. Half magic by Eager. That is correct. Oh, wow. Old Yeller. Gibson. That is correct. <laughs> what book starts with someone walking up River Avenue in the heat? In what book is there a swan? <laughs> the Trumpet of the Swan by E.B. White. <laughs> <laughs> Short Diaries by Russell. Okay. Short Diaries by Russell is correct. He is Lupica. Correct. <laughs> Midnight Magic by Abby. Oh, I was going to say that. <laughs> <laughs>
Recently, I had a chance to go to Mrs. Taylor Tussie's class to see what's happening. Fifth graders have been busy making puppets with model magic. Let's take a look. Um, we're working on making kind of puppets. We make toilet paper rolls, cover them with a head of newspaper, tape it all, and then just cover it with model magic. I'm gonna make a alligator. This is Anya with Skyhawk Sports. I'm here at the area track meet with all of our track athletes. We are doing our best on running, jumping, and even softball throwing. Let's take a look at the highlights. Here with Mrs. Greg for the final Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader of the Year? Let's check with Colby to see what prize she'll be playing for. Thanks, Anya. Today, Mrs. Greg will be playing for this brand new calculator. You'll be able to double check all of your calculations with this amazing solar powered calculator. This eco friendly, fabulous prize can be yours if you are smarter than a fifth grader. Back to you, Anya. Thank you, Colby. Are you ready for your question? I am ready. Here it is. 7 plus 6 is 12, or 7 plus 6 are 12? 7 plus 6 is 12. That is, I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Oh. Some, the answer is neither. 7 plus 6 <laughs> is 13. <laughs> <laughs> now you have to say it. I am not smarter than a fifth grader! <laughs>
That's all the news for this week. This is Ben, Colby, Logan, Kira, Christopher, Anya, Livier, Sharon, and Jorge. Reporting for Skyhawk News. Have a great weekend. Go Skyhawks! I was able to interview some students and this. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> thanks, Colby. Re Colby? Recently. <laughs> Thank you, Colby. Are you ready for your question? I am ready. Here it is. Six plus six. six seven plus six. <laughs> you make us. Treat all your soldiers like they're the king of England. And you tax us on your so-called best tea.